Colors are everything when it comes to aesthetics. From the arts to science and even religion, they're a part of all our lives. They're one of the greatest gifts granted unto us by Mother Nature. Did you know that in the Middle Ages, color represented a person's profession and social rank? Many people think our favorite colors are manufactured in labs and are not natural. So in this video, we will discuss some of the popular colors, their history, their source and their use. Colors were originally sourced from plants, invertebrates, insects, fungi, or minerals. These natural resources were taken from and used to make dyes by our ancestors. Not all naturally occurring materials may produce color, some, excluding plants, can, such as sea snails and cochineal insects. Let's begin with the color red, shall we? The color red is the most dominant among all others and the first in the order of colors. It is also the first color perceived by babies or people recovering from color blindness. Over the years, this color has signified power, love, vigor, and beauty. Throughout history, red has cut across art, religion, and even the afterlife. In the Paleolithic period, people buried their dead with red powder to ward off evil spirits. In Chinese philosophy, the red color is associated with the element of fire and is linked to dynamism, leadership, confidence, aggression, and hypersensitivity. It is made from matter, red lead, red ochre, cinnabar, and artificial chemical compounds. Up next, green. Green is another additive primary color with a history as far back as ancient Egypt, where it represented regeneration and rebirth. You can get the green color from nature. Some examples include matcha, foxglove, mint, grass, and lily of the valley plant. But what about the color blue? Blue is strongly related to two of the Earth's properties, the ocean and the sky. According to some experts, the earliest members of the human species were colorblind. The history of color can be traced to ancient Egyptians, who discovered how to make a permanent pigment and employed it in their ornamental arts in 2200 BC. Michelangelo used the ultramarine true blue in his work The Embodiment in 1500. On to the next color, yellow. The color yellow is a mixture of the colors red and green. Yellow is a happy, upbeat color that inspires feelings of joy and optimism. Yellow is one of the earliest hues known to man, appearing in nearly 17,000-year-old cave drawings. The hue was frequently utilized in ancient art and is considered sacred by many religions. Like gold, yellow was regarded as unchanging, unbreakable, and immortal. The sun was revered in many religions, and sun gods were often shown as wearing yellow. Ancient Egyptians painted their gods with yellow skin because they thought they had golden bones and skin. Why don't we talk about the color purple? This color comes from a mixture of red and blue colors. Purple is a majestic hue that stands for excess and richness. It also has an enigmatic side that piques interest. The ancient Phoenicians learned how to create deep purple dye some 3,000 years ago, and the color gradually got brighter. Only the wealthy war purple and Catholic Church commission artists painted Jesus and the Virgin Mary in the color. Today, the purple hue is obtained from cochineal insects and also extracted from red cabbage. Purple inspires motivation and creativity by stimulating the imagination. What color are we going to discuss next? You guessed right. It's orange. How do you get orange? Simply by mixing red and yellow colors. This particular color had had a significant influence since the dawn of time long before it was known as orange. It's both dynamic and bold. Orange is utilized to both indicate danger and elicit exhilarating feelings in people. The color orange is closely linked to fertility and abundance. Pomona, the Roman goddess of bountiful abundance, was frequently portrayed wearing an orange robe. During World War II, the U.S. Navy wore orange inflatable life jackets because of the sense of safety given by the color. The history of the color orange spans several eras. Ancient Egyptians used a yellow-orange color from the mineral Realgar in their tomb paintings. Interestingly, the name orange wasn't used in Europe until the 16th century. Before then, the color was simply known as yellow-red. Some natural sources of orange dye include carrots, onion skins and gold lichen. And now, for the final color. Violet. The color is similar in look and source to purple. You'll find it between the blue and purple colors on the color wheel. Violet is gotten by mixing red and blue, with more of the blue color added into the mix. 
Violet was an extremely dark color that was created by crushing the mineral manganese and mixing it with water or animal fat. Prehistoric cave art in Peshmeral, France, contains traces of this hue dating back around 25,000 years. The hue was adopted by the U.S. women's suffrage movement to stand for liberty and dignity. Bishops and archbishops wear violet in the Roman Catholic Church. Cardinals wear red, and the Pope wears white. So there you have it. Colors are natural, and they're usually a result of the combination of other colors. They've also been known to have great significance and inspire feelings in people. So the next time you catch your date gawking at you, remember what color of clothes you have on. We hope you enjoyed this video. Please make sure you like the video. Subscribe to this channel. And don't forget to hit the notification bell.